Shalom everyone. Hope you're all doing well and are blessed of Jehovah. I wanted to make a video to just encourage you to, to keep enduring in the, in the faith and in the word of the Most High. I was explaining it to, to someone recently, uh, just this week, that um, the Father is faithful. And he is in our future. He knows our future. And he can do things for us that we can't do for ourselves. And we wouldn't even know how to do it ourselves, even if we could. So my experience has been just that. That he is able to position us. Um, and there's a scripture that speaks about that, which I'd like to read to you. If you um, read, which I was reading um, recently, and it just brought it to mind, um, Psalm 5, verse 8 onwards, it says, Lead me, O Jehovah, in thy righteousness because of, of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out of the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Jehovah, Will bless the righteous with favour. Wilt thou compass him as a shield? So, as I as I'm reading uh, um, that passage with my family and looking at the situation that that um, everyone pretty much faces right now, um, it brought me back to to what the Father has done for me and what the Father will do for you. And I think this is part of the reason why I have to encourage you, brothers and sisters, not to, to waste your time transmitting and hearing the voices of, of the, uh, the talking heads. Don't, don't waste your time um, with that nonsense because if we're to be truthful and frank, by the time it hits the newspapers, it's, it's too late. By the time it hits the press, it is too late. It's already a done deal. We have to understand that the press is part of this power structure. It's part of the power structure. It's part and parcel of this power structure, which is designed to indoctrinate and to disseminate information which... The power structure wants you to receive. And it is for this cause that people who are contrary to the power structure are deplatformed, are removed, are banned, their voices silenced because it doesn't fit in with the policies of X, Y, and Z. So although you may have freedom of speech in your nation, the power structure doesn't abide by your constitution, by your Magna Carta or whatever you, you, you go by. And therefore, um, it can deplatform you. It can silence you. So don't waste your time disseminating that kind of information. What you should be doing, and my encouragement to you is that you should be doing, is that you should be focusing on the word. Because the word is if you if you focus on the word that is the thing which will lead you in paths of righteousness that is the thing which will prepare you if you are to be prepared for a time which is to come see the holy spirit is the one and the father the the son also is alpha and omega so if the beginning and the end is before their eyes and they know all things, then surely that's that kind of information that you should know. That's the kind of information 
that you should be sharing with other people. To them, the news that, that we can sometimes share, that's not current, that's not relevant to them. The Most High, the wisdom of the world, according to the Most High, is actually foolishness. The true wisdom is His Word. If you want to be wise, therefore, in the eyes of the Most High, then share His Word. All of this is just is just something which will which will which will last for a moment. Doesn't mean that you are to be ignorant. But what it does mean is that instead of consuming it consuming years in your life sharing information and it could be the end, this could be the mark, this could be the revolution you've been waiting for. It could, maybe, it is or is this the way, so on and so forth, share truth. Why waste time sharing possibilities? The possibilities is an indication that the person who is printing it doesn't know, and they don't want to be bound by the text as if they do know. And then you go and share it as a possibility, and you're, and, and you're, you're so in fear. We're not the harbingers of fear. We are the ones who are supposed to be the heralds of good news. So if you focus on the good news, then like what the psalmist is saying, that in times of trouble you'll be shielded. The reason why he told Noah to make a boat was to, to guard him, was to prepare him, his family, his children and the generations that were, was to come. So the key is, what does thus saith Jehovah? That's the key. Share what thus saith Jehovah. And when you share those things, then you're not just best preparing yourself, your children, you're, sh you're, 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 you're providing a shield around if generations that may come after you. People may think, oh, it's not interesting. That's up to them. That's up to them, but you're doing your job. And when you do your job, Father will do his. When you do your job, Father will do his. And he will be, his children will be known by who they are, how they walk, how they behave. The children of God will be about their father's business. Shalom.